dad, his son, and three others arrested. Police say they shot at a Logan County deputy. A bullet hit the windshield of that deputy's SUV. It led to a chase and a violent crash. Here again is KOCO's Kim Passoff. This is where the deputy was shot at. It's a rural road with very few homes in the area. Investigators say they have no idea why the dad and the teens were out here in the first place, and they have no idea why they would shoot at an oncoming car. I don't believe that they knew at that time he was a deputy. It was dark, and you know, all they saw were headlights. It could have been anyone. That's what investigators believe. They say the Logan County deputy was responding to a call late Sunday. A cow in the roadway in Cashin. As he approached the Cottonwood Creek Bridge, he spotted this white truck in the road and several men standing around it. Then, without warning, gunfire. As he's approaching them, a bullet impacts his windshield uh, in this driver's side area, narrowly missing him. The bullet came within inches of hitting the deputy, spraying fragments of glass into his face. The men jumped in the truck and took off. The deputy's able to turn around on him. The chase is very brief. He goes several, you know, hundred yards, maybe a quarter of a mile, where he impacts the bridge there at just west of Broadway at a very high rate of speed. Lost control of his vehicle, uh, rolled, and ended up in the yard of a resident there. Three of the five men inside were injured and couldn't get out. Two remain in the hospital. Right now, all five suspects are charged with shooting with intent to kill. Investigators say additional charges could be filed, including underage drinking. In Guthrie, Kim Passoff, KOCO, 5 News.